was like, okay, that's weird. On my way to work, I went to avoid a sewer grate, and I noticed a little head poking out. It looked like she was looking directly at me as I rode by, so I doubled back, and it was a little young raccoon that was frantically trying to free itself from that storm grate. I called help immediately, the Newton firefighters. They came over, they sent a fire truck, and the guys there were super about it. They thought it would be an easy fix. They just had one of their guys bring over some dish soap and kind of poured it all over the neck of the raccoon, trying to push the raccoon back through the grate the way that it came up. She definitely had a very panicked look on her face. I mean, she had been hanging there for who knows how long, just suspended by her neck. And then it became increasingly clear that the raccoon wasn't going to get freed easily, so they got a little bit more concerned, but they took it in good stride. They became very motivated to make it happen. It quickly became clear that it was far too stuck for something simple like that to work. So they pulled the storm grate out of the ground and tried pushing it out that way while pulling it from the other end. So a couple of EMTs came over and started feeding it some oxygen just to make sure that it was getting enough air because it did look like its neck was a little bit restricted. Rotator gone towards your left a little bit. Oh, oh, it's moving. Almost there. Yeah, this very extra long though. It's making progress oh, there, guys. Yeah, almost there. There it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was this sedative that finally got us to relax the muscles, to finally free the poor little thing, and then we get it freed. The overall process took over two hours, and then the animal control woman took it back to the facility to keep it for observation. I was thrilled when I found out that a day or two after I'd initially helped free her, she actually got released back into the wild. It was great news to hear. I've always been an animal lover. I just like helping them out. You know, it always gives me the warm fuzzies inside. <laughs>